So, uh, before this video starts, I'd just like to say I'm sorry for not posting recently. I've been very busy, and I've been po I've planned to post two big videos for you guys. Uh, if you want to learn more about that, my Discord is in the description. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the video. Today, in this video, as you can tell by the title, we will be forming a Turkish Empire. What if Turkey formed an empire in this modern age? The Turkish government is overthrown by a very high... How do I say this? Monarchist society, wanting a monarchist party taking over, and these monarchists want one thing and one thing only: war and the reunification of the Ottoman, or as the Roman or Byzantine or any other empire that a Turkey has became a part of at some point in time. Turkey would begin this by invading its very, very close enemy, Greece. Now, of course, the Greeks would have known this was coming. Of course it was. Turkey hated them. And right as Turkey would have declared war, Turkish troops would instantly start pushing out oh wrong map. Would instantly start pushing in to Greek territory, taking some islands near the coast as well, and having some troops land on the island of Crete, but being stopped by the Greek military. As the Turkish military continues upwards, Turkey starts to blockade Greece's supply ports, stopping food and important goods from entering the country, and pretty much creating a giant snake around Greece, stopping Greece from exporting and importing any goods. As Turkish troops be continue to push in, because of course they would, Greece isn't that powerful of a country, Greece would start to see the fall in its government. Many rebels over in this area, which in history is known as Sparta, would start a small revolution against the Greek governments. Greek, this small little revolution would soon burst and start pushing up, trying to take Athens before the Turkish could. But of course, these are still Greeks, and so Turkey would declare war on them as well. This would not be good for these rebels, but the island of Crete would soon fall in a couple of days as the... Greek military would start to fail there. The Turkish would continue to push, and it was a race for the capital of Athens of Greece. The rebels would take all of this little area, which is in history known as Sparta, while the Turkish would finish their push by taking this small island right here and pushing in and pretty much just wiping out the rest of the old Greek government. Again, like I said, this little revolution is not really friendly with Turkey, and so they would start to be pushed out as well, until they are fully wiped out and Greece is forced to surrender. Let's see how this peace treaty would work out. With the complete wipeout of Greece, Turkey starts to look around towards her other neighbors and sees two that they might want to invade. The first country they will be invading is Cyprus. Now, I don't know why. I have a very close connection with Cyprus, like, in history-wise. I don't know their history that much. I just love the island and its shape. I don't know why. But, oh, I just noticed I accidentally did something. Uh, okay, there we go. So, Turkey would instantly, of course, having the stronger navy, would make a landing on Greece and instantly wiping it out. Because... Cyprus isn't that really that strong, and the British might step in, you know, because they're British, but no, not in this scenario. With the full annexation of Cyprus, these countries, oh, that was weird. These countries would have a conundrum, because all these Middle Eastern countries know that they might be next on Turkey's list and start to bicker. But before they can bicker anymore, Turkey declares war on Syria. The Syrians were not that surprised, and seeing a pretty weak Turkish army on this border would instantly start to push in and take this little panhandle that Turkey has. Turkey would soon reorganize her troops and instantly push back the, S the Syrian forces, add a small invasion into so. Okay, we good. And a small invasion into Syria would soon begin, and the push into Syria again would begin. Syria, being already pretty unstable, would not have a fun time fighting against the Turks. The Turks would wipe out their coastline, and pretty much Syria is forced to capitulate. 
With Turkey's expansion becoming quite unstable for the Middle East, the Middle East would form a coalition. That is of Saudi Arabia, Iraq, Jordan, Lebanon, Palestine. We all know this little boy will not join in because... Oh, you, you can't see. Um, let me find this. this little boy would not join in because Jerusalem... Because, you know, Israel hates every single one of them. Would Kuwait join? Would Kuwait join? Kuwait's not going to join. All these guys are, though. I'm forcing them. I don't know their relations with these countries in the real life. I just... I don't think Kuwait likes them. Especially this guy. Especially this guy. Turkey seeing this would instantly wipe out. That was a fast wipe out. They would instantly wipe out this country right here, which I need to figure out what that is real quick. Lebanon, there it is. Lebanon will be instantly wiped out. And the only real threat is, you know, Saudi Arabia. But Saudi Arabian troops are just all down here at the moment and would take a while to get up here. And so Turkey pretty much has free reign of the top Middle East, pushing into Iraq because of their superior weaponry, pushing into Iraq, of course, and pushing into Jordan, fully wiping out Palestine, as they would continue to push. One country would see what was going on and would join the war, not with Turkey, but for its own gain, Iran, because I'm pretty sure, I don't know if this has been changed. I know these two hate each other. Oh. I know these two hate each other. Saudi Arabia and Iran hate each other. And so Iran forces would soon push in to Iraq to gain some territory as well. With Iraqi with Iran forces pushing in to wipe out all of Iraq, Turkey starts to see Iran troops inside and would instantly start to boost up the production of well, militarism. And would continue to push through, trying to stop it so Iran doesn't get any of this goods of oil. Jordan would soon instantly be soon will be wiped out as all of its forces are depleted, and of course Turkey would continue to push down, trying to stop Iran from taking the forces. Well, taking the forces, taking the land of Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabian troops would soon show up, finally, and would start to push in. Bringing back Jordan. Jordan Jordan people would start to fight. I don't know how they're actually called. And soon Palestine would also have a good thing. This would be a very bad fight for the two of them. And so they would soon both team up. These two. Turkey and Iran would soon team up. And bring in a new ally to help them out. And that would be Israel. I don't think Israel would actually help them. But. I think Israel would want to wipe out Palestine, but that was pretty much it. With Israel entering into the war, and their very powerful defense systems, they would wipe out Palestine once more, and would start a small offensive against the Saudi Arabia. Of course, it would just be a small offensive, since Israel is not as big as these three superpowers right here. Iran would not actually run, and would push in, wiping out pretty much the rest of Iraq. The rest of the land would be soon wiped out by Turkey, and Jordan would also fall and taking suit. They would have a large offensive into Saudi Arabia, and Saudi Arabia would start to see that she probably will not win this war. With Turkish and Iran troops continuing to push in, Saudi Arabia would soon have to grab their closest white flag and would sue for peace. All these countries would not really have fought, but peace would soon be taken, and a peace treaty would soon be signed up. After the Middle Eastern campaign, Iran would invade Kuwait to make the borders look a lot prettier, and Turkey would start looking more towards Europe, as wanting to form an Ottoman Empire would have a large bit of land that would be probably needed. A lot of these countries would form into small coalitions to try to wipe out this large Ottoman Empire, which would be Albania, Montenegro, Kosovo, Macedonia would be the first coalition against this large, brand new country. Turkish forces would soon instantly start to enter Macedonia and would do pretty good, but then they would start to hit the Albanian border, which is where their conquest would stop. I don't know if you guys know that in real life, but Albania has thousands of bunkers around its entire country, and that would slowly stop the Turkish advance, 
and so Turkey would have to continue to push up through taking Kosovo, which would piss off Serbia, which is a uh, foreshadowing, and would wipe out Montenegro as well. Kosovo, Montenegro, and I just said your name. I just said your... Macedonia. There it is. Yes, would all fall. While well, Albania would have a small and grueling defeat with Turkish forces slowly and surely pushing through until, boom, a cutoff. The entire country is forced to capitulate afterwards, and all four of these countries soon fall to the Ottoman rule. With all countries being fully annexed and making this ugly border gore, these would be the start of the second coalition. Serbia being pissed off that, of course, they lost a lot of, they lost Kosovo would declare war on the Ottomans. The Ottomans would see this, and it would instantly start to look around for allies, but no one else wanted to help it. Soon, Bulgaria would help will help Serbia in its advancements to stop the Ottomans. With Turkish troops pushing into Bulgaria, this would not be an easy battle, as both Bulgaria and Serbia are pretty strong countries compared to the other four that they just fought. But... Compared to Iran, Saudi Arabia, all down here, they are quite weak. I never know this, but uh, the capital of Bulgaria's name is Sofia. <laughs> That's funny. Anyway, the invasion would continue to happen. As Turkish troops continue to push in, they make landings over here in this top part of Bulgaria and continue to push them back. But pushback would soon happen, with Serbian forces coming through and starting to push out a lot of Turkish troops wiping out all Turkish area, Turkish troops in this region. It would set up a nice border, but as they continued to push, they would also start to see a loss in a lot of resources. They would also start to push into Bulgaria, but would soon again stop as Turkish, as mass amounts of Turkish troops from the Middle East would come, create a spearhead, and wipe out this entire over area over here. Soon enough, the... One sec. Soon enough, the capital of Sofia would be surrounded and would slowly have a slow push in. The rest of Bulgaria would soon fall, and a push into Serbia would soon begin. Sofia would soon fall, and Serbia was alone in this war against this large Turkish invasion. Bombing runs would help them push even faster, and Belgrade would soon wait, Belgrade, I'm bad with names, would soon fall, and the rest of Serbia was pretty much just gone. Serbia would soon fall to the Turkish armies and would be forced to capitulate. Let's see this peace treaty, shall we? With this video looking like it might be over soon, I start to notice that something's about to happen and finish off the rest of the Balkans. Slovenia, Croatia, Bosnia and Herzegovina, I don't know how to say that last name, I'm so sorry, would soon start a coalition to finally stop this large empire, but a new challenger would soon appear. Challenging the Ottomans' rule over the areas, the Italians would get, in, would get involved to try to stop this large empire from influencing the rest of the European continent. Turkish troops would instantly start to push into Bosnia and would start to push into Croatia up here in the north. But over in this little area right here, I need to figure out what that name is real quick, would have a large outnumbering of Italian navy forces. Okay, I kind of thought it was that. This is the Adriatic Sea. That's how I, was, I, th I kind of thought it was that, but I just didn't want to. I wanted to make sure. And so, in the Adriatic Sea naval attacks would continue to happen while the rest of this rest of these countries would start to fall, with Bosnia soon instantly fully capitulating into the Turkish forces, while Croatia would continue to hold out, hoping that Italy would soon be able to get troops there in time. Italians would soon come out of nowhere and start to push back the Turkish. Of course, Italy is a pretty strong country in our timeline because Italy, after World War II, would be, have a democracy and would start to become a very close ally to the West, the West, the rest of the countries in Europe, and would start to get a strong economic power. Turkish troops would soon have a large, and I mean large, invasion of Sicily. Sicily would soon instantly almost fall because Italy would not think that Sicily would be invaded and the boot would start to get touched by Turkish forces. This island over here, I need to figure out the name of this one is, would soon also get wiped out, but would also have a small resistance in this little town right here. Italy would soon start to lose more of its boot and 
naval blockades would soon see this country start to fall underneath itself with exports not being able to be good because every single one of these areas are blocked off by Turkish forces. Bosnia would soon fall and so will Croatia, be leaving Slovenia and Italy to them like to their liking. Slovenia is a very mountainous country and would well not mountainous, more hilly, but would soon also get wiped out. And the touching as they start to touch Italy, Italy would soon be forced to capitulate to the Ottoman forces. Let's see this peace treaty. With the war finally over, these three countries would be fully annexed, and Italy would lose her little southern boot right here, making Italy no longer the boot country of Europe. Anyway, this is a beautiful empire in my opinion. I love this, and it was worked well. Other than this, I don't like the Saudi Arabian territory. Not Saudi Arabian. I don't like this Middle Eastern territory. I can't fix it because I don't know how to. But thank you so much for watching. I am sorry I've not uploaded in a month. I have been planning two big videos for you guys. And I've been on a hi bit of a hiatus. To learn more about that, go to my Discord. There's going to be a lot of stuff there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a nice rest of your day. Bye-bye.